Hey, welcome to our new genre study. Uh, we are going to be focusing on plays this week. Uh, day one, let's start with our learning target. Um, you will um, demonstrate prior knowledge about plays by answering genre-specific questions. You will discuss and analyze camp out, cop out, and finally build academic oral language and vocabulary. So last week we learned that strong readers summarize and synthesize as they read. We also learned that some texts require us to evaluate the author's purpose to better understand the selection. This week we'll use those strategies as we read and analyze plays. Today we'll review our current understanding of this genre and identify features of the genre you already know. Okay, so I, what I want you to do is I want you to think about um, these four questions, okay? Uh, what is a play? What is the purpose of a play? I should probably highlight them. How do you read a play? And then who invented the play? And I just want you to take some time and figure out, um, you know, what answers that, that you can kind of um, either guess or just from what your knowledge is uh, of this genre and write it down. And then we'll, we'll kind of go over it in just a bit. So why don't you pause the video and take time to answer those questions. All right, fifth graders, hopefully you took some time to answer these questions. So when you look at what is a play, um, you have to think about what exactly it is. So this is what the book talks about as being a play. A play is a story written in script form, words for actors to, to say and stage directions, whose main goal is to be performed by actors in front, and that should say in front of an audience. So I should probably fix that. Uh, most plays consist entirely of dialogue, okay? What is the purpose of a play? The purpose of a play is to let the audience or readers connect with the characters in the story and experience their emotions. Readers have a chance to share the character's success or failure and feel the emotions that the characters feel, all right? How do you read a play? Um, get to know what the characters are like, then note the setting. Pay careful attention to dialogue, especially when it says here, um, most plays consist entirely of di dialogue. Um, use your imagination to see the setting and actions as described by the playwright. Visualize who is talking, who is listening, who is on stage, and who is not. Now, the playwright is the person who writes the plays, just so we know that. All right, and then who invented plays? Um, the ancient Greeks performed the earliest plays. Um, they came up with the idea of an actor who speaks and acts as or plays at being someone else. Centuries later, one of the world's most famous writers, William Shakespeare, wrote many plays that are still read and performed. Okay, so hopefully you understand in terms of what, what a play is and, and how where plays came from. There's a pretty good chance you didn't understand this question, but quite honestly, I knew it was really old and it was probably the Greeks, but I didn't know exactly. Okay. Now, let's talk about, turn the page here, and let's look at our web. So when we look at, when we think of all the plays that you've read or written, what features do they have in common? Let's work together to identify the features of the genre. So let's look at, you know, who is in a play? Where, do, where does it show? When and where does the play take place? How is the play organized? What information does an actor need in order to play the part? And what features does the play share with other genres of fiction? So we're going to start here, and let's move to our web. Um, first off, a play is written to be performed by live actors on stage, okay, or in in an audit, in, in whatever a stage could be. I guess I guess when you say stage, I always think of you know an elevated platform that people sit in, like an auditorium. But it doesn't necessarily have to be on a stage, okay? It could be in front of the classroom. All right, so other features of a play. Oops, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. A play is told through dialogue and characters' actions. Okay, there's, it, it, it's, it's very much driven by what is being said. Okay, um, a play includes stage directions. Um, it, it, tells, it, it, it tells what the characters are doing. Eddie walked in from the left door, from the left side of the room. Um, you know, thunder happened outside, you know, things like that, that just helps set the stage so people understand it better, okay? A play takes place in more, in one or more time frames and settings, okay? 
um, depending upon the state, the the like the size of, of the production, it could just be in one room at one time. Uh, or, you know, you, when you look at plays like South Pacific or, you know, Oklahoma, that takes place over many different days and it takes place in many different areas. It just, a lot of it just depends, okay? Um, a play is divided into scenes or acts. And think of that, think of that as kind of like chapters. And each one of the scene or acts is in, a, is in one place, okay? Uh, generally, it's in one place. Okay. Um, a play usually has one or more main characters and additional supporting characters. And that's as usually because sometimes there is a one person play or, you know, there, there could just be one person and they're just talking. Okay. And then finally, a play has a plot based on, on a conflict, problems for the characters to solve or decisions to make. Okay, so hopefully, boys and girls, you have. I want you to have written all of these down as I talked about them, and I think that goes without being said. But just in case, pause the video and make sure you have all of these written down. Okay. All right. So now we're going to read a short play called Camp Out Cop Out. As you read, I want you to pay attention to how the writer uses the features of the genre in this play. Okay, so you can either turn to 115 on the text for close reading and read this, or you can um, just turn, it, it's, in your, it's in your packet, you can look there. Um, but yeah, why don't you, why don't you pause the video and take time and read this play. When you're done, restart the video and we'll talk about it. All right, so let's look at Camp Out, Cop Out. See, we have the, uh, the play route list cast. Three 13 year old boys. Raja, Matthew, Kimio. Kimio, I don't know how to pronounce that. Setting, which means where does it take place? It's night. Kimio's backyard, surrounded by woods. Tents are up. Boys are sitting around a lit flashlight. Okay, so that's the setting. And then the play is told through characters, dialogues, and action. Ra Raja, man, it's really quiet here. Kimio, yeah, sometimes it gets really boring though. So I'm happy you guys came for a camp out sleepover tonight. Matthew, how can you possibly get bored exploring the woods all summer? Kimio, you'd be surprised, but I'm just saying, it's not great living so far from everyone. The boys eat marshmallows from a bag. Suddenly they hear twigs and leaves crunching loudly in the woods. Okay, this is what's called, um, this is stage direction. Okay, this is kind of other things that are happening that, that the characters are experiencing. Raj, Raja. Uh, what the heck is that? It's, it's not a bear, is it? Okay, give me a, nah, I've heard there are black bears somewhere out there, but no one's ever seen any. The sound gets louder, Cl sound, sound closer. Matthew, worried voice. Right? Yeah, but have you ever been out here in the dark before with a bag of marshmallows? Kimio, good point, let's go. The sounds are really close and loud now. The boys get up, grab the marshmallows, forget the flashlight, and run toward Kimio's house. None of them glance backwards so they don't see the squirrel emerge from the woods in the beam of the flashlight. Okay, and then the playwright provides stage directions about the character's actions. So now that we've read this story a couple times, what I'd like you to do, um, actually, well, when I when we're done with when we're done with this, I'd like you to take time and and answer the questions in your packet. Um, what does the word cast mean at the beginning of the play? What text evidence helps you define the word? And then um, the play is like other fiction in that it is bait plot based on a conflict, a problem for the characters to solve or a decision to make. How does the author structure this play in order to introduce the conflict and tell how it is resolved? Okay, so when we're done with the video, um, just take some time and um, answer those questions. But uh, today we reviewed the key points of plays and discussed the story structure and characters' points of view in Camp Out, Cop Out. Uh, tomorrow we'll analyze another play and then we'll compare and contrast the two plays to deepen our understanding of the genre.
Um, so that's all I got. So don't forget to answer those questions. And we will, yeah, that's all we have for today.